Hello everyone, welcome to another video of slangs. In this video, again, we're going to learn a couple of more slangs or English phrases. These phrases and slangs are really useful uh, in your daily life English conversation. If you want to speak good English in short time, then you may learn all these slangs and use them and you can speak good English, okay? So until now, we have learned uh, 62 slangs in 31 videos I have recorded. Okay, so today we're going to learn 63 and 64 number slang. Okay, so let's start this video. The first one is the point is that plus subject plus verb. The point is that plus subject plus verb. Okay, by stating the point is you are stating in your opinion the meaning about what is actually happening. Okay, the point is that plus subject plus verb. So simply you are saying uh that um, you know stating in your opinion the meaning about what is actually happening okay for example the point is that you should work hard the main point the main the meaning of overall conversation is or in our in my opinion is that you should work hard from now on okay so let's look at some examples to understand it in a better way here the point is that if you study you will do well in school okay so maybe there was a conversation going on about uh, studying uh, or doing well at school, okay, whatever. So here, uh, to conclude the conversation, someone could say, the point is that if you study, you will do well in school. Simply, okay, next one. The point is that she does not understand. So maybe there was some conversation going on with a woman and she was not understanding or she was not actually, you know, uh, agreeing on something. So the other person might say, the point is that she does not understand. Okay, next one. The point is that we need uh, this done today. Okay, so the overall conversation, the way the, the meaning or the point is that we should finish it today or we should do it today or complete it today, whatever. Okay, next one. The point is that the world would be a better place. Okay, if you do something good for the world, or the conversation is going on about this then you can say the point is that the world would be a better place okay next one the point is that we should help the point is that snakes can be dangerous yes they can be really dangerous okay next one the point is that leaving a baby alone is not a good idea uh, if you disagree with this statement with this phrase with this sentence you can watch a movie named home alone Okay, and they are the, the parents that leave their kids alone at home and you can see what happens, okay? Next one. The point is that if we do not leave now, we will be late. Okay, the point is that she needs to be more responsible. The point is that we need to work together. The point is that you should work hard. The point is that you must earn more money. The point is that I should take care of her. The point is that he needs to be more responsible, okay? So here, you can use this phrase or slang, the point is that plus subject plus verb to tell the overall meaning of the conversation, okay? The point is that we should practice. The point is that we should work together. The point is that we should go, go abroad. The point is that I, I I should say here whatever okay next one how was plus noun how was plus noun by using the word how was you are asking someone a question about something that happened or something they did in the past okay uh, for example how was the meeting how was your test okay something or uh, that happened or something they did in the past okay uh, how was the dinner? Whatever. Okay. How was uh, the conversation? Now, let's look at some examples to use or to see how to use this phrase. Okay. How was your meeting? How was your doctor's appointment? How was your birthday party? How was lunch? How was the airplane ride? How was vacation? Okay. How were your parents? Here we didn't use was, instead we use were, why? Because parents are more people, they are two people. If uh, for single person or for single thing we use, as a, uh, sorry not if, 
for a single thing we use was and if there are two people three people or more people then we use were okay how were roads when you drove home so here we talked about roads not only about a road okay next one how were people acting after what happened how were holidays with the family okay how was your foreign experience how was english class okay how was your trip to china well my trip to china was awesome how was his performance okay so it's a very useful one how was something how was the match how was your performance how was the test okay how was the day okay so how was the meeting whatever so you can use this phrase in this video we learned two phrases or slangs uh, the second one was how was plus down and the first one was the point is that plus subject plus verb so i hope you understand them in a better way and you can use them in your daily life english speaking or in english conversations okay i'll see you in the next video of slangs take care of yourself take care of your families keep learning and keep uh, uh, watching my videos. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video.